Frost right? Nope. All right. Wait, Welcome back to WN. Come on, man. WA. 95.5. Not going to call y'all what I called y'all before <laughs> we started recording, but you know what you are. <laughs> you know what you are. <laughs> Niggas. Niggas out here nigging. Exactly. Welcome back, everybody, to the Faculty Lounge Podcast. Yep. All right. Yep. John Jay over here. Uh, Elton. Uh, Somebody Breezy. Rich Breezy, Somebody Breezy. Big facts. Yeah, we are back. We have returned. Episode 60. Us. Two, 62. It's been a while. All right. Yeah. yeah, man. Definitely been a while. So we got a um, we got a birthday celebration coming up. Oh, you know yeah, what yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. out to Mr. John Jay. Yes, I am. Super another, nice. another rotation around the sun. Wait, 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 wait. What's that? That's your laptop? Or is that the ox? That's the ox. Nah. I've turned all my stuff off. Shit. Oh, that was little brother. His <laughs> <laughs> name right. John Jay is a DJ. Yeah. All right. So, yes. I am having a birthday tomorrow. Hey. All right, shout out to the Butters, who's also having a birthday on Wednesday. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we went in, we went in, cut up with the Tam Tams last night. And we had a, um, you was just talking about somebody who celebrated a birthday. Oh, yeah, yeah, They're, shout out to my, oh. The actual birth date. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out to, uh, <clears throat> to Case, man. Um, congratulations to my boy Biggums and his wife, man. They just brought another child into the world, man. It's always good to see black love bringing black life into a black world. Hey. hey. That was that was powerful. What yeah. kind of forever? Hey, what kind of forever? <laughs> like the tattoo on my arm. Thank you. Thank you. For sure though. So how are you guys, man? man. I've missed you both. Yeah, we living, man. Yeah, man. I am alive. Yeah, yeah. I like the vibes in here today, man. I'm definitely alive today. We are definitely less drunk than we were are last week. Are you taking this cup or am I taking this yeah. cup? Uh, I think you are. You know. Okay, we're right. we need <laughs> Somebody has to drink for that. <laughs> what is this? Well, see, I got to work tonight overnight. Right, 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 right. So right. that's why I, I'm probably yeah. not going to drink. That's bourbon, but it's very strong. You that's guys want to know my party name? What's your party <laughs> what name? What is your party name? Two Cup Breezy. Two Cup Breezy. Two Cup. Because at no point in a party do I not have to. Like, I always double fist. Wait, 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 wait. What's in the first cup? It doesn't matter. Oh, my God. And then what's in the second <laughs> what's cup? What's in the second cup? <laughs> Another dose of doesn't matter. <laughs> like, All right. But at some point, like, I mean, one of these cups always has Hennessy in it. Mm-hmm. Oh, see what, and then there's, uh, like, You heard that here party. first. Like, Damn it, little brother, shut up. You heard that here first, guys. You heard it here first. Hennessy mm-hmm. doesn't matter. Hennessey Two cup breezy <laughs> at all times. <laughs> yeah, man. We went, um, we checked out a dance spot, man. One of my favorite spots. I'm not going to say what it is because I ain't trying to blow it up. So now, so now, let terrible. me ask you: When you hit a dance spot, I yeah. mean, do, do people hit spots? Is that Did what they do nowadays? He just hit a dance. You know, like yeah, he, he just, just hit a jab little stepped a little bit, a little hey, basketball hey, hey. move. Do yeah. you actually dance? Absolutely. What? And now, like, what are some of your favorite dance? What are your moves? go-to All right, dance see, yeah. see, now you're trying to incriminate me. I tell you this though. You don't go into a dance party with dance moves. This is not save the last but dance. I mean, you don't have, like, <laughs> this is you know, not you got served. Do you my do nigga. any of today's dance moves? No, I do the. Per- Will we catch you, you hitting the, the wall? Floss. I do the percolator. Oh. oh. Yeah, I do the percolator. Can we get this to yeah. happen? <laughs> Y'all gotta catch me at that dance spot, and Yo. yes, you will see it. Nah, but you know what I'm saying. When 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 we go out, we gonna. Like, what's the point of going out and standing on the wall? Like, I mean, I get got your back like up off the wall. Exactly. I got like, <laughs> I got like three dance moves that I hit. <laughs> Tell you us, <know>? please. <laughs> hey, that's about it. You know, I do like the the rush hour. Oh wow! Jump up, it was definitely know? some fist <laughs> some fist pumping going on. I wish you on could all see uh, his legs. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It was definitely some fist pumping going on. What's your I hit the percolator. What's your second dance move, Tom? Get out there. <laughs> you know, I do the two step. You know, the the the, okay. the, the granddad. Do y'all know step. how to, y'all know how to step? You know how to step? I'm a yeah, I I be stepping. Know how to step? You know why I know how to step? Why you know how to step? Because my dad is 73. Well, my dad will be 73 this year, and my Chicken mom, <laughs> my mom is 61, 62. Mm-hmm. So I'm a stepping baby. Oh, okay. Hey man, I like I enjoy stepping, man. Me too. Yeah, Me that's too. my thing. Me yeah. and my mom, every so often, we like step together. See, now this particular kind of dance party, it mm-hmm. wasn't no room for no stepping. Mm. This was like wall to wall, like how you see it like in the movies. Fist pump. 
Yeah, like I posted it on I posted it on Instagram mm. of our sweaty faces. Mm. That's where we was at. That's uh, the best Because it was hot as fuck, but you know what I'm saying? It was a good time. Uh-huh. All right, yeah, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah. Cool, I'm like man. at the age where yeah. I could still do all of today's dance moves. Like 25, you could catch me in a club doing. See now, at the tender age of 33, <laughs> yeah, man. you can't be in there doing them dances. You, you remember can't. leaning and rocking? And you yes. know what else? At and, a certain height, snapping. at a certain you know, height, you cannot do that. And swag surfing. Swag, swag surfing. Swag surfing is a classic. Yes, Anybody can swag surf. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. What about can raising you? the roof? I don't think kids yeah. do that anymore. You don't raise the roof? No. no. Man, I think they, um, I think, yeah. What about getting jiggy with it? Nah, 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 nah. Well, we do like, that. How, we do that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That's nah. a, I don't, I don't but think we have to be to, on the dance floor to get jiggy with it's it. It's also like you, when you're in touch with your blackness, like some mm-hmm. stuff never goes out of style. Like the electric slide. The electric mm-hmm. slide. The electric slide The kid happen. in play. Yeah, the cha cha yeah. slide. The cha, like yeah. some stuff, like the the fucking tootsie roll. Like mm-hmm. if you in a club and all your homies black, like and the tootsie roll come on, niggas is gonna be getting low. Yeah. Like yeah. it's gonna be a vibe. Yeah. Them girls is gonna be tootsie rolling on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> I don't know how they do it, <laughs> but they are belly on the ground tootsie rolling. <laughs> <laughs> never could never figure it out. <laughs> Yeah, Yo. It's, it's a thing. Super facts. Yeah, but I'm I'm glad to be alive, man. And I'm Damn. glad, I'm glad to have two co-hosts that I really enjoy, man. Praise I to the fucks with you and I fucks with you, man. Yeah. Much love and Clink. happy birthday to Clink. me. Clink. To me. To yeah, me. to so you, man. People been buying me gifts, man. Every year I get older, I'll be like, man, I'm too damn old for people to buy me shit, no right? No, you're not, man. Look, look, let me explain. So the way I feel is, by me being a grown-ass man, I don't deserve anything but what I work for. Okay. And that's the logic that I take into it. No, man. You have to be blessed. You know what I'm saying? Like, And you have to be blessed to the point that you accept blessings when they come. You know? Facts. Right. And how, like, when you give me stuff, you always say, it's not what you want. It's what I want you to have. So Yo, somebody, that's exactly what he told me because I was somebody, telling him that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Somebody mm-hmm. out there wanted you to have this, so they went out and got it for you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, and these, it just so happens that we celebrate people's rotations around the sun by giving them <clears> stuff <throat> and yeah. appreciating them. This is basically giving you your flowers while you can still smell them. Right, right, yeah. right. Like because ain't nothing worse than, like, obviously everybody knows ain't nothing worse than, like, somebody dying. You'd be like, man, I could have. Uh. Yeah. You it's know? like, bro, just Like do Chris it. Brown. Just do it. There's no pride. There's no pride involved. I was talking <laughs> about if Chris Brown would have died. Before I got a chance to see this him in person, asked me this shit. Mm. I, it'd be like Michael Jackson. Like, man, you didn't get to see Chris Brown in person. You gonna forever regret it because nobody can do he it. He told me that, and you I was like, Chris Brown no. in person. I'm He's going, about to. Yeah, uh, I'm going to see him at the uh, United Center. But knock on wood, man, because he ain't seen him in person yet. But I told him I'm yeah. not gonna like regret not seeing Chris. He was like, "You're not." I'm like, "No." I mean, Chris Brown puts on a great show. So does Travis Scott, though. It's a different. Travis Scott puts uh, on an amazing show. But it's show. a different kind of show right you know? it's, yeah yeah but but you get my meaning it's yeah. like one of yeah. them things that like man you don't love and desire to meet chris brown but you know he's a fantastic artist mm-hmm. and to have an opportunity to see that and not and something happened to him y'all talking like, it ah. up like i might have to go see chris when is he coming 26 i might have to do that yeah man i mean and, what are y'all and, talking about it and, and when you go you get a free physical of uh indigo of his album Oh, yeah. see, that's, that's what, good because so I would never buy it. That's what Nicki Minaj was talking about with Travis Scott. With the bundling like, thing? Yeah, yeah, so every ticket sale to the concert it's is a sale. sale. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, see, that's bullshit. But it's no, not, it's no, not it's because not, she not. fought for that. It just right. didn't go in her it didn't favor. Work for her. <laughs> yeah. That's what it was. Yeah, uh-huh. she was fighting for that because see. Nicki also had like. Nikki had all type of shit she was trying to, right. you know, push with her album. See, but at least these things are like merch and music related. Like the fuck the the person who was mad was DJ Khaled because he tried to pair it with a fucking energy drink. Yeah, like that doesn't have anything to do with your music, yeah, man. man. Yeah, like so that was frustrating. That's like pairing your album with tacos. Hey man, <laughs> if tacos YG, tacos if YG, go. man, look, YG could definitely come out with like a a, a go loco a, taco, a go loco taco, Whoa. or or a fucking a four loco a, with a flavor he chooses. Taco flavored four loco. 
Don't no, say that on camera. Uh, but why? <laughs> they're gonna listening. take my. They're gonna why take my ID. Listening. I'm gonna DM him. Yeah. Yeah, man. I'm gonna DM him and tell him. Like, I'm a YG fan. So, so should we good. um should we start with Nikki since we made it to Let's him? start uh, with Nikki. Yeah, I guess. All right. So I'm gonna play Nicolette, bring that ass here. Uh, I'm gonna play the snip of uh academics Academic. video. Yeah, because I look, and I wasn't shocked by this because we know the type of person right, she is. Right. But just I I got a theory and I'm gonna tell it to y'all once I play yeah, the video. Let me know what happened. Right. I don't even know what happened yet. Well you'll hear it. Academics. I about wish to break you could see the DMs. Let me find them. This moment is on Dash. Check out this shit, man. She hits me today about two hours ago. <clears throat> Just listen. This is DM. You you would never believe it. By the way, also to put in context, I'm not trying to make her look any type of way, but we all saw what, and, and, and by the way, this is why I exist. He definitely because looks like a Pixar character. Yeah. Never <laughs> Jerry up, from Tom Cruise. That's right. Badu got his ass. She hit his ass with a 45, like, minute, with a 45 minute slow burn. A lot of you guys are that. And then y'all act to the fans uh-huh. all this sweet innocence. Remember the thing with Cardi and Nicki? Yeah, man. let's get Yeah, yeah. man. I'm when, trying when to Nikki get further into it. Empowered? No, let me show you who Nikki is. Show me. That's all. Listen. And for anybody who Show us who Nikki is. Are. <laughs> this is who they are. Nikki hits me today. <clears throat> she says, I'm reading verbatim. I'll, I'll, I can Come on, fam. Can see it. She says, you've been mad. This is Nikki. You've been mad since I made a joke about you with Joe on my show. Here's the next line. The that, people you rep that next won't line. be able to stop your jaw from getting broken. I know too much about your family for you to be playing with me, you whole ass rat. That I'm, I, it, listen, if I'm right, right, yeah, I'm dumb, yeah, dumb, yeah. yeah. Right. I mean, that's enough to pretty much get to just. She went on to say that uh, what's her name? Takashi told her that academics was trying to touch him, and you mad he locked up, so you can't feel on his booty and shit yeah. like that. Basically, like shit. This when when you hear shit like this, man. From a uh, Nicki Minaj, somebody that's supposed to be the the queen, the self proclaimed queen. Mm-hmm. It's like, what what are you doing? Man? Well, isn't her Twitter handle right now Miss Petty? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. So my theory is in here this, we go. Oh, that's the DMs. Yeah. Okay. So look, my theory is that this is a publicity stunt, right? Because why would you send this to academics, knowing academics gonna put it on this platform? Because she's not actually retiring. But she, when it's all said and done, no, like... I'm, I'm saying this is a publicity <laughs> to start to get her back hot and people talking about her. Because why else would she do that? You know what academics going to do. Mm. Just like you know what Joe Budden going to do. Yeah, but I mean... Y'all see why I tell y'all, like, we tired of Nikki? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, like, no, I already knew. Like, this yeah. shit, like... Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a lot. Now we tired. Like, you talking about my, my nigga... You call him your husband. Who knows if they're actually married? That's probably like some Jocelyn and Stevie shit. But um, uh, and dude is on straight goon dummy. It's like <laughs> goon dummy. My nigga, my nigga gonna come beat your block down. And he gonna break your jaw. And he I know where your family at. Like, yeah, yeah, niggas wanna yeah. talk stupid. I'm gonna come see that ass. Like damn. It's like nigga. Like what the hell is ain't this, you nigga? on parole or something? Yeah. Oh, it's bad, but it's like but we see, hold Nikki to such a caliber, and then she started doing a hating shit with Cardi B, so she kind of goes down. See, then she I started feel, doing other shit with other people, she goes down. And then you do yeah. this, and it's like, yeah. see, so is Nikki on her Ti? She Ooh. gotta be. Nah, that's, come on, man. Ah, uh, well, I feel like we've been wrapping Ti up in the wrong kinds of ways, man. Because <laughs> I mean, no, we gonna talk about Ti today. Back up, sure like Ti is coming back up in the world. Yeah, I seen him yeah. on that. Um, I just seen a clip of him on the whole, panel. Yeah. I didn't like that coming yeah. from T. Yeah, and then I the didn't whole, watch it yet. We and then the whole what you gonna call it? You know, I seen a picture of him and um and Kanye. Mm-hmm. And I feel like the old Kanye is back. Like he's his cosign seems to be meaning more nowadays. So why are you putting did. why are you putting that in line with what Nikki doing? Just how T I was going back and forth. Last with. year he was going back and forth with people and it was like making them lose ground. I'm like, Even when his this. ass was on the internet arguing with Kodak. So not living his best life, but yeah. instead going back and forth with these niggas. Yes. <laughs> yes. He was nigging. Because yeah. he was, what so, you call it? He was going at it with, yeah, Kodak, and then he was going at it with Prada, and then he was going it, at it with... With Gucci. Yeah. He was going you know? at it, and so. back to Nikki, it, it, I just watched a video recently, I think it was yesterday, of her going off on somebody in her uh, live comments. 
Mm. But see now, like just focusing on a comment. This is my thing. I though. mean, I when, don't disagree with that though. When Cardi B came at her uh-huh. with the evening gown on to fight, like for real, she ran in the other room and right. got security guards and said, "Why are you doing this to me? This Why do I deserve this? I'm a girl." <laughs> and then now it's like. Now You're she's ruining doing my it. reputation. Yeah, right. And now See, she's doing the same that. thing to somebody yeah. else. I, I don't. I don't believe you. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that you're actually gonna send this guy out there. Yeah. I don't think that you would have the balls to do it. You know. So, so, so this is my prediction for what's next. All right, she chose to come at academics, which is a highly strategic move, mm-hmm. because both Joe Budden and Charlemagne, which are arguably the biggest voices in the culture right now, right, mm-hmm. have a personal relationship with DJ Academics. Mm-hmm. So, of course, Nikki's going to get Donkey of the Day tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Joe Budden is going to talk about it on his podcast. I don't podcast. think she's going to get Donkey of the Day, though. I don't think she I, will, but... I don't think this deserves Donkey of the well, Day. Well, no, it, it's going to be in the rumor report or something. It'll the be in the rumor report, The Breakfast sure. Club is going to talk about it. Oh, yeah. yeah. And yeah, Charlamagne yeah. is going to be talking about Nicki Minaj It'll again. It'll come from Angela Yee. Yeah. 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 And then Joe Budden is going to be talking about Nicki Minaj <laughs> again. Yeah. yeah. And, and that's her whole plan. It's like, just to keep people talking about right, it. Right. Like that in the Queen Radio shit, it's mm-hmm. like she becoming this messy media personality. Yeah. I wouldn't even be surprised she if, she had a bar, if she had a bar about it. Like, Prob- I, I, that's why I could see her being the new Wendy Williams, but she actually looked good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, you know. Yeah. Best of luck to you, but that was definitely, um, I mean, it's, I think it's a strategic power move. Uh, you got to carve your lane. And once you carve your lane, you're in your lane. You got to. You just gotta move forward. True, true. It yeah. it is, but I mean, but we watched. We seen plenty of people come up out of their lane. Like look at look at how Fifty did it. Look at LL when he did it. Look at no. I mean they no they they carved their lane. Yeah. You know LL was this pretty boy, and they were like, all right, well let's put this rapper in the movies. Right, and right, he, right. He carved that lane from something. It's just he hard to come out of that bad reputation you remember, lane. You remember in the house, <laughs> right? That that's what they was like, talking about because they was cause... somebody was talking about the best. Uh, LL the show. best rapper actor, and they reminded me LL had a whole sitcom out here. Yeah, in the I house. Yeah. Marion yeah. Hill. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I remember. <laughs> no, but that's, that's but LL hasn't been like problematic. Like, oh no, so problematic. Fifty Cent. Yeah, Fifty Cent is a multimedia mogul. Yeah, you know how I feel. And about a 50 cent. messy multimedia mogul. I don't mogul. understand that because Fifty is the greatest. <laughs> but you don't like Fifty. It's not that I don't like him. I just feel like I held him to such like a gangster gangster standard. He still is. And then he started arguing on the internet, and I was like, "This is weird." You can't beat but people up and be a, a, a million, rich gangster. A rich That's but true. He, he literally. That's beats how you end up, up like on Rainbow the internet. Dance. That's what I was explaining. Yeah, and I, I, I'm not like the, quite used to that. On the internet, yeah. See, because he's a older generation guy. Using new generation tactics to still get his old generation point across. It's yeah, brilliant. it's brilliant. I'm gonna bully you on the internet until I see you in real life, and then I'm gonna bully you in real life. And that's okay. genius. And you're gonna make a video I saying I owe fifty his money. This I don't know how, is... but I owe fifty money now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm bringing Hennessy to all the all the oh future podcasts. Uh, bring your personal pint. What is it? What is it with <laughs> females and Hennessy, nigging. man? I don't know. I have no idea, but because guys, I, I guys will move not be around. You know, girls are strictly that. either Hennessy or vodka. Mm-hmm. Like guys, we move around. We like, all right, let's try this new. Y'all what should we call it? All right, so all right, we finished. Are we gonna with talk Nick. about Ti? Are we? What are, did Ti do? Right. What? Oh, when he had, he was at the panel. No, no, tell me about the panel because uh, I didn't see the panel. All so, I saw was the the clap. What is the panel? I saw it was it was was it him, Mike, and who? Um, the the lady that he was going at it with. Uh, was Candace, it Karen, Karen Candace Sibyl? Owen? Mm, was it no, Karen it was. Ain't nobody going back and forth I, with Civil. I don't. I don't know. I don't we know. respect Civil too much. I'm just thinking about who would be on that stage with him and Killer Mike. Oh, I'm gonna tell you. I think it's Candace Owen. Candace, oh yeah. Because oh. like it's whoever like Kanye was like endorsing, mm-hmm. or she was endorsing yeah. Trump. They basically just. just I ain't got it. Oh. I need All the right. Nickel. You got a hamburger. <laughs> Mm. 
<laughs> I could see myself saying that. So that was frustrating. Okay. Why was that frustrating? So he was like, what part of America was great that we're trying to replicate? Mm-hmm. She opened up. So the crowd started going crazy. The crowd started going crazy. Right. She opens up and she says, well, first and foremost, there was America. There was slavery all over the world. He just punched her ass in the chest like, no, fuck that shit. Yeah. Like, da, da, da. I feel like. Gave her, I'm going to let you finish moment. Yeah, and you never let her finish. So now the crowd is getting loud. And then you tell her she opened with bullshit. And she, oh, she, you know, she did open with a fact. She, he's like, you're trying to make what we went through light. And she's like, no, you're but you're not even letting we me through. finish a but sentence. Now, and I feel like in the climate we're in, that's what's going we on. of as black people with different political views, like my first time voting was for Barack. My first time Barack was in the him. White House was my freshman year of high school. Mm-hmm. Like, I watched it in my social studies class. Right. That's when people my age really started being into politics. Yeah. Because prior to that, all we knew of politics was 9-11. See, and that's Donald what I was, Trump shit. That's what I was I explaining mean, to. I mean, um, George Bush. I was explaining that to somebody the other day. Like, man, you have to think. For us, uh, uh, Bush Obama mm-hmm. was the first real election. Like, that was the first time Honestly. you really had to make a conscious decision. Us, yeah. yeah, yeah, like man, this is this is an election where you actually have to look at it. I could have voted for Bush. Yeah, I didn't. <clears throat> I actually didn't start voting until sure. after Donald Trump became the president. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, because like when Barack Obama won, I was like, oh, I didn't even have to vote. Right, because I got my way. Because yeah. somebody know? was telling me and that then, um, the democratic process was useless and you shouldn't vote. You shouldn't care about it. I'm like, man, taking part of the democratic process is not about politics. It's about personage. It's about being a human and critically analyzing what's going on around you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. you and know. voting is not about choosing a president every four years. Right. No. It's about choosing the alderman that's going to fix judges. the, the potholes in the, the street. And the yeah, school the judges. systems and the districts and the funding and yeah. it's all that. You know? Yeah. So, so it's when it. you're definitely controlling your the environment yeah, right. on, a, on a smaller scheme. People... But you know what? People don't know that because they only vote for presidents. They yeah. don't go and vote yeah. for aldermen and senators and 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 you know, judges. Yeah, and they shit don't do like the that. research. To they don't do the find research. Find out who these people are. So, so with this situation with Tip, mm-hmm. my my view on the whole situation is to take it back to Kanye wearing a hat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It opened a conversation. Yeah. 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 And Tip is a extremely educated man. Killer Mike, extremely educated man. And they reach the youth. Yeah. They reach the hood niggas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they are people that I would want to have this conversation with. But when tips start getting loud and you you start with Bush and these are are not we can't have the conversation. These are not the people I want to have the conversation with. And I'll tell you why. Why? The reason why I say that is because even though Killer Mike and T.I have a level of personal experience inside these arenas, Mm -hmm. I would rather have that conversation with Candace Owens because Candace Owens is in the system. Yeah. Yeah. Candace Owens is still a black woman. But guess what? T.I. not in the system and Candace is. We're not in the system and she is. Yeah. So you kind of talking for... Who's more qualified to answer my question? Yeah, she is 100%. Yeah, she's more qualified to answer your question, but are we trying to answer questions or are we trying to devise a plan How do we get the questions asked? That was the way. So yeah, Ti was right. the way. Ti asked the question, but don't cut her off and and, yeah. and that's cause the crowd to riot. That's, that's what not I'm saying. Cool. When you when you have a setting like this, man, mm-hmm. it's counterproductive to rally the crowd and all of that. Exactly. You, you have to take the crowd out of it and be objective. Yeah. See, and that's and that's what it came down to. This is a rapper versus a politician. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. a rapper is a. MC, a master of the ceremony. He's going to take over and get the crowd yeah. going. It might as well be mm-hmm. WrestleMania. Yeah, yeah. And that's that's what um mm-hmm. that's now, what was You know something so, brother? Uh <laughs> TIP comes to SummerSlam, Candace nah. Owens you're going down. <laughs> nah. What you going to do? Now nah, watch this. And she asked him. She was like, "Okay, well, mm-hmm. trans, trans- it was a fact. So what's the word? I'm transition God. Yeah. Okay. Transition so, God. As Candace Owens was saying, there was slavery all over the world. Mm-hmm. True that. And what people don't know is that the majority of Africans to leave Africa went to Brazil. So 35% of the Atlantic slave trade, 
those people went to Brazil. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And speaking of Brazil, I want to talk about this U.S. and Brazil development deal. Transition, God. Yes. And there you have it. So I was thinking, I didn't, I didn't really understand what this was. And be, before we get there, black don't stop. Black, black does not don't stop. stop. Black does not stop. So I was reading this article today, actually, and it's saying it, it, the language is confusing. The language is confusing. So it says that um, the U.S., the United States and Brazil had a dialogue, and they're going to make a major investment in development in the Amazon, right? Mm-hmm. Now, when I say development, what do you think? I think buildings. When I say development, what do you think? Evolution. Okay, so the way they're describing this development, they're saying it's going towards preservation efforts in the Amazon rainforest. So they're going to send people down there to plant a million trees. I don't see, and that's the thing. It's so, it's the language is so nutty. It's like, man, why don't y'all just say we finna drop a McDonald's down here or we finna keep motherfuckers from cutting this shit down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's... There was no definitive stance in this oh, article. Oh, no. So, man, this is an African country. Like, last month, uh, a couple of weeks ago, mm-hmm. they planted, I think it was for 12 hours straight. Oh, yeah. They planted, yeah. like, a million plant, a million yeah. trees. A million trees, yep. Yeah, in, in a 12-hour span. Yep. Yeah, man. And that would be dope if that's what they're going down there to do. See, and I and I know? doubt it because the, the, goal of, the goal of nations is conquest, right? Yeah. And we already know what the United States is about. It's a fucking McDonald's in Iraq. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So what makes the Amazon rainforest any different? Man, life. <laughs> and and <laughs> that's who, the and, only thing that and makes it. Nobody different. gives a fuck about life. You know what? I I, <laughs> I got an interesting I have an interesting uh take on that, right? Mm-hmm. Life. That's uh-huh. it's great that you say that. Now, if I'm a venture capitalist, yeah. right, life for me is finding out a way to manufacture my food products that I sell you for as cheap as possible, mm-hmm. no matter what's in it, as long as it tastes good and you buy it, right? As long as it tastes right. like everybody, like everything else that I'm selling, yeah. Right. So no, under no circumstances should I be selling you a whole pizza for five dollars. Under no circumstances <laughs> should I be selling you a dollar menu. Yeah. Right. right? That pizza for five dollars has to have something in it. Yeah, right. because your little kids. It's going to destroy their bodies before they fully develop. Yeah. If you feed it to them. If you feed it to them. Right. And I was watching the... Um, so nobody nobody that's in business cares about life. Right. Mm. Like, it's, they care about business. So yeah. that that scares me when I, I look know, at this. Man. When you look at Akon, Akon went into business, into the business of bringing solar energy. Oh, well, he's the, he's, the, he's the Black Panther. He is the Black Panther, yeah. I guess. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. Man. T'Challa. Yeah. 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 Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> check mate. <laughs> so moving on. Um yeah, man, it's just life, man. Life is so much bigger than human beings. Like, mm-hmm. I feel like when humans talk about life, they it's like they have the blinders on. They they got tunnel vision. When you, when a human being hears life, they only think about human life. So when I was talking, I was having a conversation with a Christian, yeah. right? Mhm. A devout Christian church member, mm-hmm. and when I said that us as humans have a, um, a overinflated sense of self importance in the universe, mm-hmm. they looked at me like I was crazy, right? Mm-hmm. And in some form, shape, or fashion, the way they're being taught faith is that everything begins with them, and humans are the center of the universe. Yeah, and it's like, how dumb is that? You can take every human <laughs> off of here, yeah. and the world gets better. <laughs> yeah, better. Yeah, <laughs> like every human can be gone. The earth is gonna flourish. Yeah, cause we're the problem, and we <laughs> could and we could never destroy the earth. Yeah, you could never destroy a planet. I don't pl- know. Look, see, that's the thing, man. It's an army. You and what army? Um, these seven billion other me's. All right, so let me ask you this, right? What, what we didn't had we didn't had an ice age before, right? But we've right. never had what is it nine billion people on the planet before? We've never had this many people on this planet. Before. So so the human body, right? We we can get off this in a second. I just want to say this: the human body is the perfect machine, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right? Now we live in the Earth, which is also a perfect machine. Right. Yeah. So in the event that it becomes too much for this perfect machine to function. Mm-hmm. There's a number of ways they can 
dispose of us. We got tsunamis. We got hurricanes. We got tornadoes. We got snowstorms. We at got the same rainstorms. <laughs> all of this stuff can happen at the same time and wipe all of it. All it got to do is knock out the grid. Mm. Yeah. You knock out the power grid, we're going to take each other out. Yeah. Niggas going to die of hunger before That's anything crazy, else. Man. Bro, people don't even know, like, the Hunger Games is real. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I wanted to read the book, but it was long. Uh, <laughs> no, the book wow. was good. It's you sound like fuck. most Christians. <laughs> the no, book was so but, fucking good. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to shit on Christians or anybody's faith. I just found it interesting when I have this kind of conversation with a person that's um, encapsulated yeah. by a religious base. You get such outlandish results. It's a faith based yeah. life. in the face of you speaking facts. Yeah. I think you know what, 100. percent I think that's why, like. Um, People my age, like my generation, I think that's why we like better than everybody else. <laughs> because we don't necessarily believe in like we can have a we're whole questioning generation. We're questioning like all of the like religious stuff now. Like we believe in okay, we believe in a higher power, we believe in God, we believe in Buddha, we believe in everything, but we we don't feel like we have to there's one thing only. But you know what I Because feel though like? we pray and to God, we also believe in the universe and we also believe like that there is a such thing as retrograde, and we also believe that full moons affect people yeah, and what sunlight the hell affects is retrograde? people. Like, what does Mercury retrograde even mean? What does this mean? Don't get me to lie. I just honestly think <laughs> that means that everything kind of is off. So look, I'll say, like, this. I'll say <laughs> everything's this. a little bit off because shit's not the, lining up to the detriment. I, I, let me one thing to the detriment of the standpoint, the the stance that your generation takes. Mm -hmm. And I've noticed this across all uh, spectrums of, like, life and culture. Y'all have a hard time with uh, correction yeah. and chastisation. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you can't tell a young person that they're wrong. You yeah. know why, because though? Because I'm okay with doing it. That's supposed to make it right. You know why? Yeah. And, and that's, that's, that's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But wrong. you know why yeah. you can't tell a young person? Look who raised them. Google. Us. No, right. Google. A lot of their parents is y'all age. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say Google. And a lot of their parents out here in the streets, I mean, and they're raising themselves. It's a whole different mm -hmm. animal, though. So if mm -hmm. I've raised myself and I'm alive, and I feel like I'm raised on survival, you can't tell me Tra shit. Transition, Junior. But, Go ahead. I but, got the transition. Yeah, I was gonna say, um, y'all ain't the first ones to not go into religion you know what i'm saying like yeah. i would say the hippies were like the first yeah you know yeah, yeah, yeah the mansons and such yeah you know yeah. what i'm saying like the they because we all got the knowledge of like the seed of life and um the universe and Secret you know vibration right. chakras and all, that, yeah. And yeah. Like yeah. all this information has been around you but it's know? just been lost yeah. to like us we and we're finding it our generation mm -hmm. got the benefit of technology your generation is getting the perversion of technology. Yeah. Because the internet has been effectively turned into TV and yeah. cable. 100%. And the radio. Whereas mm -hmm. for us, it was this free-formed uh, place of expression. It was like a mm -hmm. real encyclopedia. Yeah, like yeah. you could just go anywhere and do anything. Now mm -hmm. there's just so much misinformation. Yeah. Yeah. They, they didn't turn the internet into on them. Google, yeah. Facebook, mm -hmm. Instagram, Twitter. The first yeah. thing yeah. you... TikTok. Yeah, TikTok, TikTok is the bullshit. World star. Dang. But here's my transition. All of this talk that we're having about generational rights and wrongs mm -hmm. and how uh, correction is shunned in Ooh, this Ooh, I'm age. looking. <laughs> yeah, right. I, wait, wait, wait. Um, Number two. A, Number two. I watched a video. Uh, it was a Breakfast Club interview with Mike Yoba. Uh, Mal hey. Malik, Malik Yoba. <laughs> Malik Yoba. <laughs> so for those of y'all that don't know, Malik Yoba has recently come out as trans attracted, right? Which I don't understand because all of us have seen a transgender woman and thought she was pretty. Until we found out she was actually uh, transitioned from a male. Mm -hmm. Like, everybody's been caught in that instance. Everybody I know, at least. Mm -hmm. Like, you saw it, you was like, ooh. And then you found out what it was, and you got a closer look, and it was like, oh. Uh. You know what I'm saying? But Malik Yoba has taken the stance to, uh, he calls it stepping up. He stepped up. Yeah. He stepped Take up. Take that turn. Yeah. So I, he was like, <clears throat> I don't want to come out. They're like, it's not coming out. You it's, stepped it's up. stepping up. Right. Shut the fuck up. So look, the 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 <laughs> the whole issue, and I've had separate conversations <laughs> off camera with both of y'all, right? Mm. And I like what you said, anonymous. You said that um, your stance is being sexually ambiguous. Yeah, like if I'm here, all right. So 
this is so I I so I didn't smoke today, right? Yeah. And I'm sitting here and I haven't drunk anything. Same clear. Yeah. yeah so clear. this is where I want to go with this, right? Okay. Like what you do at home in the privacy of your own home, mm-hmm. I don't care about because I can't see it. It doesn't affect me at all, right? Yeah. But now let's take one person for example, right? Our mayor, Lori Lightfoot, right? Mm-hmm. Now, we've all heard the jokes Boy, about... Lori. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we've all heard the Big jokes GDC about... Lori. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, you know what I'm saying? Being the fifth king of comedy. And we've seen people lining up on TV. Yeah. We've even seen them make her an honorary uh, Black Peace Stone Ranger on social media. You know, okay. know what I'm saying? For holding the hands like this. You know all what I'm saying? Well. But yeah. at the same time, though, she is working her ass off to um, correct this budget deficit that's been going on for decades. Right. She's um, working on cleaning up the streets of Chicago, and she just shut down that steel yard on the Chicago River. Like yeah. every other mayor has been like, "Oh yeah, give me some money, three more year contract for you." She's like, "Yeah, I don't need that. Mm-hmm. No, you guys are gone." Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like she's doing the right thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And she's the mayor. At she's this a, point, she cannot be bought. She's a stand up politician, the politician that we need, need. you yeah. know, yeah. and that's all I see. I laugh at the means. Mm-hmm. I applaud her, you know what I'm saying, moving forward and doing her thing in Chicago, but at no point in time do I care what she's doing in the bed yep. so. or what she's, who she's eating dinner with or any of that shit. Who she's having for dinner. Now, yeah. but um, but let's, let's, Let's get into your stance, but I want to address your stance to go into yours, right? So, what what was stated on the interview, and this is what troubles me, right? I agree with your stance of ambiguity because it's like uh, that's life in general. Like, mm-hmm. not even in terms of sexuality, but in terms of being alive. Mm-hmm. It's like, man, what you eat don't make me shit. Yeah. Right. Shout out to Hove. Mm-hmm. King so, H.O. So, they were saying in the interview... That being ambi- am- ambiguous is insensitive and wrong, right? Now that goes into <laughs> the conversation that I had with you, Breezy. I hate, please, I fucking hate uh, them all. Uh, uh, <laughs> please elaborate on your stance in in the face of them saying ambiguity is a violation in itself. So, the definition to ambiguous is open to more than one interpretation, mm-hmm. having double meaning. What f- Ugh, the fucking interview was so dumb mm-hmm. because everybody knows the Breakfast Club has been offensive to every community. Yeah. So I'm not gonna sit here and be like, it was just gay people. No, that goes every to the community testament of the greatness of Charlemagne. Yeah. Charlemagne has 100 percent offended everybody on the everybody. face of this earth. Everybody, there are people, there are celebrities who refuse to go on the show. <laughs> he made little mama cry, but is a mental health advocate. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can we give a shout out to Charlamagne? Because that man has grown in the past couple of years. Not anonymous. But <laughs> it's upsetting because a lot of shit that they were saying on that show, he didn't even question. And, and, and He didn't even challenge some of the shit that made no sense. I have that problem with Charlamagne, too, when it comes to gun rights. Like, he says, pray for gun laws and gun restrictions. And, and it's like, nigga, you own firearms. You from the South. And you know what they're trying to do, but you're going to sit on your hands. It's... So, I don't, I, man, I feel like it's checks involved, man. It's checks involved when it's, it's stuff like that. Crazy. When you don't say words that you're supposed to. When, when you don't say the words people think you're going to say, there's a check When involved. you're for the people and you don't speak for the people. Yeah. yeah. So it's so, which was exactly this fucking interview. you for mm-hmm. the people and you know niggas at home got questions. And you didn't ask none of the questions, bro. He was he was pandering. It was crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, was because Charlotte, I think a, now he's, he's becoming a, a little. Maybe Yoba fan. <laughs> Stupid ass. I think now he's becoming very um concerned with how people oh, view him or I don't think he wanted this interview to be toxic or whatever. So he kinda tried to sit back. The dude, David. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that the dude guy. David opened the interview. Mm-hmm. DJ Envy, he like, yo, shout yeah, out to DJ Envy, it's the Breakfast Club, Charlemagne guy, Angela Yeah. Today Good morning, we have right. This nigga David comes through and is like, I'm just going to start by saying this. Mm-hmm. 
Y'all done offended all the gay people in the world, all the trans people in the world. I ain't going to let it happen. I'm here to set the record straight. So I feel like in the dough, he was like, he was on the defense. He coming in or with he an was, agenda. He yeah. was coming in with an agenda. Or he was he was like, shit, I don't know what the fuck that nigga was like, but he was tripping. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and whatever he thought Charlemagne was doing or was going to do, he wanted to make sure the shit didn't go down. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. And I, 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 you know what? And I feel like now I want to say before we go deeper mm-hmm. that I have a profound amount of respect for Malik Yoba, right? Because the level of bravery it takes as a black man, mm-hmm. as Mr. New York Undercover, yeah. to come out and say that you find yourself attracted to trans women, right? But apparently he, he wasn't undercover. But look, let me finish. Yep. <laughs> Did there. Yeah, but look, <laughs> look, I <laughs> stop, man. I'm trying to be serious. Yeah, man, I want to hear your. All point. right, come on, come on. So look, look, I, I I have a profound respect for Malik Yo, but just because I know what it takes to live your truth as a black man in the world, right? Mm-hmm. Like for you to come out in spite of what's gonna come to you, because we all niggas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Period. We all, we all, we all niggas. So, so when you think about that phrase, we all niggas, it's a certain expectation that comes with that, right? right? If you a nigga, you eat Popeyes chicken sandwich, right? Who don't if eat you, Popeyes chicken sandwich? If you a nigga, <sighs> you despise gay people. If you a nigga, you cannot be trans attracted, right? So for Malik to come out and make that stance, yeah. I applaud and salute the man. Yeah. What what I think happened is, once the handlers got control of him. They're using him as a vehicle for their agenda. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Because now Malik Yoba, they trying to... Okay, so in this interview, he was saying stuff like... Malik Yoba was talking like us. And he was like, man, this is how I feel. This is what it is. You feel me? And they kept, and they kept cutting him off. It's like my mom's a teacher. And this mm-hmm. is my pet peeve of my mom. I was talking to my girl about this. And it gave her this exact example. When you talking and you comfortable, you like, man, I ain't finna... And a motherfucker cut you off like, you ain't finna... Oh, you are not yeah. going to. I remember white people asking me, what is finna? <laughs> so it was like, ain't is not a word. And he kept saying stuff. And he was like, ain't, man, ain't I feel word. like this, that, and the third. And they were like, what you need to say is uh, did it. And it was like. Like whole uh, sentences being corrected. They gave him a uh, whole script. Uh-huh. And he had to repeat it word, word for, for word. word. And if he didn't, they correct him. They was going to correct him. Oh, yeah. So that was frustrating. David, um, John, and um, Malik, Mike Yoba. Speaking mm-hmm. over the two trans women mm-hmm. yeah. that they were, were, they were tra- see, and that's what they I were understand. men that are became they, women. Are they trans men or trans women? I think they're trans women. Okay, are they transitioning because they transition into, into, into women? Right. right. Yeah. I, I so, have trouble with that. Uh, um, like it's too much for me to have to care. Yeah. You know, <laughs> right, so do your thing. I don't, yeah. I don't want to yeah. discuss it. And yeah, that's yeah. the thing. Like, like I respect you as a human. Do All your that thing. other shit, yeah. I don't have to know. And yeah. Charlemagne said that, so let me tell y'all this. So Charlemagne was like, so when it comes down to it, I just don't care. And the David Johns person was he like, you off. have to care. Yeah. You saying you that as a don't have to the care. The Nala, the black um, lady, mm-hmm. the black trans lady, she was like, well, that's offensive. You have to care. You can't say you don't care because that means you're disregarding our feelings. I am Bruh, disregarding I, I, I am 100% <laughs> disregarding them shits because I don't care. Right, I, 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 yeah. I won't sleep with you. You're not sleeping with my wife. This that you have going on does not affect my immediate life whatsoever. Or, or I my won't, interactions with or you. Or my interactions uh, with you. I fuck and with you. Is, I'm not going to fuck with you. Yeah. And that's just what it come down to. Like, look, look, look. You know, you know, I know your girl. I know mm. the mother of your children, right? Mm. Child, I, right? I know the mother of your. Get I know right. the mother of your child, right? Mm-hmm. It's very few people that I interact with on a daily basis that I have the kind of interaction that I have with your family. Mm-hmm. But that doesn't affect my interactions with them any more than it affects my interactions with you. Yeah, uh, because if you're in a committed relationship with somebody, mm-hmm. what you're not gonna do. Is go out and be like, oh yeah, that bitch was sucking my dick last night. Yeah, Ooh. like that. You're not. I'm not gonna give you that picture of my woman. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you're not gonna give me that picture of your woman Facts. because it's a respect. It's a respect thing. thing. Ex- yeah. ex- exactly. And we're only We've talked here about this. To do this. It's, it's a respect. The, it's thing. the unspoken rule of respect. Yeah. 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 So like. So yeah, this like it was wild because I guess I guess like, the one thing you that don't care like. So I don't care to the point that I have I reject your label. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
how how I had to explain to you what it was mm-hmm. like a couple weeks ago. You're like, man, what is that? A cis, a cis male. They kept using a, a lot of terms that were unnecessary. Of, yeah. They kept saying so, cis male, cis women. They I feel kept like, saying I feel like trans attracted. Like, so do you want us to acknowledge you as trans or n- not as trans, like, just as women and men that you want to that's become? That's funny because they want to be acknowledged in reference to their gender and sexuality. And it's like that's But they counter- don't want you to acknowledge it. That's counterproductive. Yeah. Right. That's counterproductive to your whole being as a human. Yeah. Yeah. Like I don't I don't if I'm seeing like I told you, like when I seen the thumbnail, I seen Shorty, and I'm like, man, she fine as hell. <laughs> but when the interview came on, she's a transgender woman. Mm-hmm. And it's like I wouldn't have known one way or another unless you told me. Or even mm-hmm. to the point where they discuss that they don't feel like they need to tell you. Yeah, and it's like, like okay in a relationship, that. no, like, oh no, say we nah, in a talking stage. No, nah, that's unfair. Say we in a talking stage, they're like, we don't need to tell you till we get intimate. And it was like, no, nah, you got to tell me way before that, bitch, because if I even think I like you, you have to tell me. Right, like if you, those are mm-hmm. the, our intentions, you have to tell. I mean, because they're like, yeah. you have to meet people where they at. Yeah. Like, yes. You can't bring me up to where you are and expect me to accept it when I live down here. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That and then another thing was I I feel like some of the information they gave off was um incorrect. They spoke about the Reese guy mm-hmm. who died, bring, who killed himself, committed suicide. Tell him the story. So basically, um Reese and his spouse were in a relationship. His spouse was a um transgender woman. It was a man but a man living as a woman and um Mm. basically reese was an abusive spouse Mm. he was abusive spouse he had mental um issues and he was um addicted to drugs Mm -hmm. and due to all those things or with all those things not even due to but with all those things he would abuse his spouse and his spouse pretty much got to the point where uh they left they're like yo like I'm in the hospital. I it's gone too far. They called the police. They did the police report, restraining order, blah blah blah. Left. Reese was like, "Man, if you really leave me, I'm gonna kill myself." Mm-hmm. The spouse really left, and Reese killed himself. Mm-hmm. The internet video of um, Reese being ridiculed by the people in the hood and recorded by the people in the hood. That video is super old. It's like two years old. Right, and it it's like a even, year or two old. And, and it, it wasn't had, even phasing them, man. Yeah. So it was like a year or two old. It had been posted on like some little Facebook page or whatever. The fact that dude killed himself didn't phase the people in the no, 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 no. The fact that he was dating a transgender uh, person. It was a video posted Uh. of his homies pressing him about liking trans women. Right. Mm -hmm. And he was like, "Yo, I don't care. Like that's what I I am. That's That's what what I I got going on. I like trans women. Hey." Mm -hmm. And what basically like the celebrities of the world they used him as a vehicle. No, a lot of the celebrities of the world didn't do their research, Mm -hmm. and they didn't wait so the thing about the internet is everything's so fast oh, we hear so about a trans the, person dying but what's, look, the, look, what's the, what's the, that what's the we point though that last week. Hold on, what's the, the point, point is this they spoke about this in the internet and they were talking about how people get bullied for liking trans people and the kill interview. themselves in the interview in the, inter- in the interview that's all not right. why he killed himself all right mm-hmm. so, so i just want to say that at my grandmother's wedding mm-hmm. in the in think 1955 right one of her exes was on the roof of the building across the street from the building she was getting married in. About to kill herself. About to kill himself. Yeah. If she got married. The police had to go up there and get him off the roof before she got married. And this is in the 50s. Mm-hmm. People kill themselves for love all the time. And they ain't got shit to do with who you love. In this interview they were talking about, like, he killed himself because he got bullied, and that wasn't the case. So He didn't kill himself because he got bullied. He killed himself. Because he was mentally because unstable. It, because yeah. his partner left him. Yeah. yeah. Because he was being a bad person to him. Exactly. Yeah. And it had uh, nothing to do with being bullied. Exactly. But, but let them but tell it. let the internet tell it. Oh, we heard, we saw on one page that a transgender person killed herself because they got bullied. They didn't give it time for the story to be mm. told. For it to uh. unfurl. And that's what we talked about last week. Right? It don't matter what happens. Yeah, you just got to be the first you just one. Gotta be you got to be the first person to say yeah, something. Yeah. yeah. See, man, high fives, man, because everything we talk about come back around, man. So that's... We be drunk, but we that's be making what, sense. <laughs> like, yeah. So that's what was, like, very frustrating, because for you guys, you guys are out here on The Breakfast Club saying that you have 100% legitimate information, and that's something that the came out. In the biggest platform The biggest platform. But you said that in the past, when they was talking about... How hard it is to actually contract HIV. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and yeah. you know about it. the statistics, right? Not really. All right, I'm just so shaking look, my head. So yeah. look, <laughs> so look a, a, a straight man and a straight woman, one of, them, one of those people can be HIV positive, right? Mm-hmm. Like say it's an HIV positive woman and a man that's HIV negative. Right. You can have traditional sex, which is vaginal intercourse, mm-hmm. multiple times and not contract the HIV virus, right? Okay. And the amount of heterosexual males who contract the HIV virus is less than 1% annually. Okay. And they never talk about this. Yeah. Never. It's, it's actually pretty hard. It's pretty hard for you to have sex as a heterosexual man and contract HIV. Yeah. I feel like you guys would contract way more stuff. Oh, yeah, way HIV. more. St- yeah, exactly. You yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I would, y'all would get herpes before HIV. Yeah. Exactly. You Everybody get plenty of dick diseases before you get HIV. Yeah. yeah. Right? So, it's just that we see that all the time because when I ride around the ghetto, we look up, you see a billboard, 96 million people with HIV. Exactly. Posted in the middle of the ghetto. Yeah. Facts. How they made it where you to afraid to fuck. They gave us drugs, then turned around and investigated us. Mm-hmm. Shout yeah. out to Hove again, man. They made it where we afraid to procreate. We you want to know why the project's <laughs> you, you a project? What, because the, it's a project. The funniest thing about this is what? young H.O. Nobody checked the man. Nobody said, bro, you just called yourself a young ho. Like, young uh, H.O. <laughs> He's, he's been calling like himself you. Young H.O. for decades You're so flagrant. Now. You're so flagrant. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, he's a billionaire now, and still people call him Young H.O. You know what? You know what? All right, so <laughs> let's 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 wrap up because I got one more thing I want to talk to you guys about uh, before okay. we get out of here. So um, y'all pretty much understand our feelings on the Malik Yoba thing, man. Shout out to Malik Yoba, mm-hmm. and uh, I hope we reach a better level of understanding because this shit is not okay. Yeah, like, if you walk in, if I invite you to something, and you walk in with the person you're having sex with, I'm going to say hi to that person. I remember, <laughs> I was in a, I was in a. That's it. Well, I'll tell that story another time, but it's a funny story. What I wanted to ask y'all about, um, y'all seen the Chappelle. Uh, I have not yet. Man. You haven't seen Chappelle I yet? Want to see, I, I have. have. Why haven't you? Because, uh, man, you know, the way my internet is set up. You gotta check us in the same. <laughs> 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 All right, so so we can't we can't get into Chappelle, man. I, I man, I am okay. about to try to live stream for the next WNBA week. Finals. For, for next week, week we're gonna talk gonna, about Chappelle because yeah, I've heard I've heard a lot of stuff about this Fashion Nova outfit yeah. and about the uh, just him going in. I mm-hmm. I don't know. I read on Twitter. There's no such thing as good 36 year old pussy. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't know. I have no context for that. But I'm I'm looking forward to. Watching it soon. All right, so look, we only got a couple minutes left, so we gonna rapid fire this thing. Rapid fire. What do you think oh, about the Isik band? It's bullshit because they figured out who was killing them people. Rapid fire. What do you think about the Isik band? Don't care. All right, Isik band. I feel like taking away my e-cigarette is the same thing as taking away my gun. It's my freedom. Tobacco is legal. Mm-hmm. I should be able to smoke what I want to smoke. And you heard about the two brothers in Wisconsin that they popped with like. They were they were manufacturing a thousand of them. Yes, they was making the jewel things. Yeah, yeah, and that was the shit that was killing the people because mm-hmm. all the deaths in the six counties in Illinois, mm-hmm. it has to be connected. Yeah, it's you know? like fentanyl. Yeah, they mm-hmm. was putting that bullshit, that vitamin E shit in your THC oils, and the shit was turning back into oil in your lungs. Mm-hmm. Like, and they was making thousands upon thousands of them. If you you figure you making this many of something illegal. At a time, you're bound to fuck a batch up. I mean, think about how you get shit off. You getting uh, shit off to the person that want to buy the most. Yeah. So you have a a, a, a concentrated. You have a control group basically. Mm-hmm. You have a control group of people that's having this product yeah. whenever they choose to get high. Yeah, and they said they were saying it was going for sixty bucks a watt because mm-hmm. that's like the the internet price. Yeah. It was probably selling them for a dub because you know you get yeah. the little cartridges for a dub because right. somebody's making it at home. Right, because you know? sixty, yeah, sixty is the standard. But if yeah. you buying them on the street, yeah, you get them for like a dub, a twenty five. Yeah. yeah, you know. All right, great observation. Rapid fire. Super Nintendo Land. Yes. Super Nintendo Land. Lost me. Super Spicy. Nintendo Land. Yes. Spicy. Spicy grande. Oh, the actual place in Japan? Yes. Japan yes, is go. over. Okay. Must. All right. All right. Favorite video game. Go. Tekken. Favorite video game. Go. Mr. Bomberman. Favorite video game. Super Metroid. Woo! 
<laughs> all right. What else we got? Really geek. What else? What else we got? Okay. All right. All right. Beyonce's homecoming loses to uh, uh, what is called uh, James uh, carpool carpool karaoke. Go. Uh. Uh. Beyond- I, I guess. Uh, you go first. You go first. It's a goddamn sham. Goddamn right. Uh yeah. <laughs> all right. Beyonce loses to carpool karaoke. I think that black people need to stop measuring themselves by we these don't. white institutions. I know it's the history books, but at the same time, we can write our own books. We lost our books because they burnt them. Let's celebrate. Let's get BET to a place where it actually counts. Hey, no. big facts. We big facts. No. Beyonce fuck can BET. fuck BET. Let's get revoked to where it needs yeah, to be. Yeah, let's get revoked yes, to where yes, it needs yes. to be. Yes, yes, yes. We got to do this anyway. Right. But that is why I just want to say, as an a, a, a honorary part of the Beehive, I just want to say that's why Beyonce never shows up to award shows anymore because you put so much into your craft and then you lose to fucking carpool karaoke. You put so much into they your sing craft. other people's You put songs, so much into man. your craft and then you lose to Taylor Swift. And sing you other put, people's songs. You've grown up going to BET with Destiny Child, going to BET by yourself. Self, and then Karuchi talks about it's your child on air. Man. Beyonce does so much for the community. You get all those people out of jail in Ferguson. You still sending water to Flint, Michigan. You giving us uh, college tuitions. You signing us up to vote at your concerts. And you're giving away free stuff all the fucking time. And then guess what? You they still get disrespected on a regular basis. Still got other people sued. Hey, man. But George James Corden is gay and fat. He gave fat hey, hey, hey. funny. You know what's funny? But you know what's funny? The butter said the exact same thing. He won because he fat, white, and gay. And um, when it's all said and done, peep this because um I don't want to talk about fat and white because I love Adele. But Adele won an award over Adele. Beyonce. You're but, crazy. Adele but won an award over Beyonce McCarty. a couple of years ago and they, she didn't understand why. And then her let speech, Adele start singing in, in her, her accent. Speech, I bet you ain't gonna love her no more. In her speech, Adele said, I don't understand how I won over Beyonce. Mm-hmm. But period. You see what they doing to Lizzo? All they this shit they WWE trying WWE. to they trying to make Lizzo they mascot. Ah, mm-hmm. oh, she's fat and she's uh, jumping around, dancing around, and being all active and people love her. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with being fat. There's nothing wrong with fat people. Why are you shaming us? Ooh, you know, and it's it's no no, like yeah, Beyonce is definitely better at what she does than James Corden is at what they he does. They sing other people's <laughs> songs. You know, I, I, I can't say that. You know what I'm saying? I haven't watched Homecoming. You should watch. Hey, You're look, crazy. real shit. Before we get out of here, man, you should really watch Beyonce Homecoming because it is a display of blackness. Mm. Like the whole culture of HBCU. Yeah. And what that means to us as a people. Yeah. You would you would be we able to missing the Chicago that. football classic right now too, man. Oh man, the WNBA finals are literally Rapid getting fire. Ready to WNBA start. finals, go. I don't know anything. Go. Chicago Sky for the win for everything. Oh, they they in it? Yeah. Oh. We playing uh so we just beat uh the Mercury in the first game. Um oh. Diane, but the Mercury's team was kinda injured. Shout um, out to Sue Bird and uh, Big Cap. I went to grammar school with you. We love you. Yo, Woo! shout out to Big hey, Cap. Man. Cap was the first uh, celebrity to ever wear my clothing line. So shout out oh, to Big wow. Cap. Yeah, yeah. yeah hey, she man. always. I remember you and your cousin that. Chauncey, Westside Christian. We the best. Shout if you down. watching, if you watching Darrell Williams, Yo. we would like for you to get us to a Chicago Sky game next season. And beyond that, I Mr. Will get Williams, y'all to a I would like for you period. to come on the show, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Cap, Cap, can we get you on the show? Oh. I, I think Cap. Cap would do it. Cap would, Cap do, would it. do it. Cap yeah. is Cap is for if the If Cap remembers me and she got her schedule empty, and yeah, she, so y'all know Cap retired. Mm-hmm. Uh, and she just she doing the fashion things. I want to have the thing. two players that I know come through. Yeah, I would like to have Pat Bev and Cap come through. Yeah, man. Go twenty shouts twenty to, goals. Shouts out to Joshua Hernandez. Oh you know yeah. I'm saying our other sports. I don't know. Connect. I don't know if Tyson Fury won last night, but he definitely fought last night. I'm gonna be watching that after this show while we eating pizza. It's my birthday, bitch. <laughs> you Thank y'all guys for watching. Make sure y'all tune in on YouTube, Spotify, and SoundCloud. And SoundCloud. All right. Thanks. Where can you find us at? At the Faculty Lounge at Chicago Fog. At Anonymous. Um. At underscore somebody. Period. Breezy. All right, that man. That is so much. Beyonce just dropped a video on on Instagram. This has been the Faculty Lounge podcast. Make sure you watch this video man and take these conversations into your everyday life man and leave a fucking comment yeah bitch. leave a comment about what you want us to talk about mm-hmm. yeah because we're yeah. here for it all so yeah. you know uh signing off i would like to play a song 
a song that I heard that made me feel good, a song by a person that you don't like, but I like him, so I'm going to play it. Who uh, doesn't like him? This is... Who doesn't like him? Tone. Okay. So this is Take What You Want. This is Post Malone featuring Ozzy uh, Osbourne how you and, know and Travis like, Scott. I never said I don't like Post Malone, man, but it is time to get we back gotta to We got to balance. It's time to eat and drink. <laughs> so... What time is it, my brethren? Time to get back to the studio. Double salute. Yeah. Thanks for listening and watching. Yeah, bitch! Stop. <laughs>